This Chinese young lady is Luna. She's a sophomore at Nanjing University Jinling College and studies Spanish. Spanish students are usually very busy, and she has been engrossed with studies all semester. Her daily routine is monotonous. Morning classes, lunch, taking a nap, attending more classes, going to the library, and then having dinner. She devotes the little spare time that she has into working in a student organization. Her life is busy, but boring. Compared to her senior year in high school, college life does not seem more carefree. Luna wonders, then which is better? At least nowadays, she has more free time. Her horizons have been broadened. Which she credits to her experiences at university. She likes hanging out at weekends. Volunteering is her passion. Luna reminisced about volunteer training at the Sifang Art Museum last weekend. The museum is located in the Foshou Lake area, far from downtown Nanjing. The marvelous architecture there and the fresh air eased her tension greatly. She arrived at the museum promptly at 9 a.m. to begin her one-day training. Her heart was filled with expectation at the thought of being a volunteer soon. She likes looking for good restaurants with delicious foods as well. Nanjing is definitely a city for gourmet. Salted duck, sliced lotus root with honey sauce, sugar taro, meiling porridge, you name it. She smiled with delight at the thought of enjoying food. It is such a blessing. Just then, the bright smile of a young girl came to mind. It was at front of the town square. The little girl scampered, turning around and taking her sister's hand, then danced. From the thought of the little girl's pure smile and simple joy, she couldn't help but laugh. Happiness surely is contagious. It is also quite a treat to see a concert after a whole day of classes. This Friday, Folk Music Orchestra of Nanjing University gave them a splendid performance. Every show was wonderful, but the lady who played Shen, a reed pipe wind instrument, impressed her the most. She had never seen such an instrument before. How the lady swayed during her performance brought Luna into the great enjoyment of a Xi's song. The piece of music that the lady was playing. She thinks about her serendipitous encounters with such wonderful people and how lucky she is. She never expected to meet Spanish-speaking diplomats on campus, let alone witness them share knowledge and experience with the students. Her good fortune is due to the annual cultural festival of Latin America. Last year, the Consulate General of Cuba in Shanghai was the special guest. A small-scale photo exhibition was held to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the China-Cuba diplomatic ties. In retrospect, she finds that all her Spanish efforts paid off. Luna can also serve the Taobao, China's largest online mall, whenever and wherever possible. Delivery is often fast with its next-day delivery, and shipping is usually free. This free and fast delivery earns the Yangtze River Delta the recognition of free delivery area. Tonight, for expediency's sake, Luna ordered a takeout from the same restaurant as last night. Dinner time is the most pleasant moment of Luna's day. She usually watches TV while eating. 
She enjoys the show called National Treasure, in which the characters explore the history of China's revered ancient artifacts. After dinner, she discards the trash on her way out for a nightly stroll. When walking, a number of familiar scenes appear vividly in front of her eyes. Delivery men sitting on their motorcycles at the gate of the university, ready for their next drop-off. Students burying themselves behind piles of books in the library, studying hard for the postgraduate entrance examination. Her teacher still revising their writings at midnight. 90-year-old Yuan Longping, the late father of hybrid rice, still inspecting crops in the fields. Gradually, she realizes that everyone, big celebrities and small potatoes alike, are busy with their own work day in and day out. They make every day count, and their efforts combine to build China the way she is.